effort to uh, to abate the many violations, and there continues to be unpermitted illegal occupancy. And uh, so at that point, uh, we are instructed by the ordinance to uh, bill the owner for the first uh, 90 days of civil penalty. In this case, being billed at $100 per day, uh, the owner has been billed here $9,000. He's given 30 days to, to pay that, and uh, if, that 30, if the, the amount is not paid in that 30-day period, uh, we then will forward this to the clerk of the board for subsequent referral to the uh, Board of Supervisors. Also occurring at this time, we, uh, all of the violations on site are considered new. And so we reissue a new notice in order to abate at a higher uh, assessed civil penalty. Essentially, we're doubling the civil penalty. In this instance, there was no s substantial attempt to abate the violation. So uh, that $200 is going to become, uh, I'm sorry, that $100 a day penalty is going to become 200 um, So we repost the property, re-notice them with certified mail and regular mail, and uh, uh, concurrent with that, we uh, send uh, a summary of the uh, violation to the clerk of the board, who will then notify all holders of title of the property that the board will be considering uh, an action to record a lien against title to the property for the full weight of the uh, uh, violation or the civil penalty. The ordinance itself uh, calls for <coughs> the uh, code enforcement officer to itemize the cost of fines, fees, and present them uh, to the clerk of the board. And uh, the board is uh, then to hear the uh, proposed lien uh, together with objections. Uh, this according to the language of the ordinance. Um, and the board will then instruct uh, code enforcement as to how they want us to um, record. Uh, in other words, you can fully waive it, you can reduce it, uh, you can, it's up to you to instruct us what to do with that. Um, and then finally, uh, the owners are given 30 days in which to pay uh, the amount that the board determines is the appropriate uh, assessment, civil penalty assessment. And failure to do so then would cause uh, code enforcement to have the uh, amount rec recorded by the county recorder as a lien against title to their property. Now the way this is set up, um, this occurs, this scenario occurs every 90 days and for the same case. And we have quite a few cases that have gone on for over 10 years and uh, without abatement. Now, in all fairness, the reason they were allowed to go on for over 10 years is because we didn't have the teeth necessary to compel people uh, to have a sense of urgency about ab abating the violations. I think that's really changed, and I'm very hopeful that we're going to be able to preserve the uh, impact of the uh, civil penalty, but hopefully be able to convince people that it, it, is, it is a very real possibility that you could be uh, required to pay this penalty, but you're, uh, therefore you need to abate the violation. And that's, so far, it, it, it's had a big impact on people, a very large impact. But I'm concerned about the fact that uh, these cases come before the board every 90 days. And that doesn't stop at the end of 180 days, 270 days. It just continues on until the board, uh, I'm sorry, until uh, the a tax assessor records a lien against title to the property. And I have uh, 68 such liens, or I'm sorry, such uh, notices and orders out right now. And uh, we're issuing, we're receiving about 40 uh, cases per month. And we're issuing, uh, in some instances where the, uh, the, case, the uh, violations are not egregious, they're not really very horribly dangerous, will uh, issue a courtesy letter advising them that 
uh, we can and will use the notice in order to abate if um, they don't uh, achieve the abatement we're asking them to do. This is a request, a friendly request. There's no penalty associated with it. A number of people do respond to that. But we have quite a number that still resist. And uh, those cases uh, of the 48, I would say well over half will be coming to the board uh, as a uh, request for lien. And uh, once this process starts, uh, they'll be coming back every 90 days uh, as the, as the uh, uh, ordinance is now set up. And it'll begin over time to take a substantial amount of, uh, of time. So I just want to alert the board to the fact that, number one, there's going to be a lot of people lined up out here to uh, argue why they should not have to have pay this civil penalty. And uh, two, that um, these people are going to be very, uh, uh, I should say, impassioned. Uh, and so uh, we will have made every conceivable effort to work with them uh, to resolve the matter uh, before it ever gets to you. But uh, in my experience after nearly eight years of this, uh, there are a lot of people who just 